Hey guys, so what's up? It's your girl Keisha. One of my favorite things, as you guys know, is to take care of my skin. And today I'm going to test out a new tool that I'm adding into my skincare. It's a facial steam. I've been steaming my face for years, so I think that now is the best time to invest into a facial steamer for my skin, and that's what I got. Today I'm testing out the Secura Nano Iconic Nano Care facial steamer that I got from Amazon. My voice sounds horrendous because I am getting a cold, but just bear with me, okay? So if you guys wanna see how I steam my face with this Sakura Nano Steamer and my thoughts and reviews on it, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to click the big red button. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So this is the Secura Nano Iconic Nano Skincare Facial Steamer. So this is what the description says. It generates super fine nano scale hot steam in seconds, easily absorbed through skin and moisturizes skin more quickly, opens and unclogs pores, allowing you to remove dirt, oil, and grime from your skin. On Amazon, this nano steamer costs about $72.50. There's probably some that you can get for a lot less, but $72, I think that's a decent quality steamer, so that's where I got it, and plus the reviews were great as well. So first of all, it comes with this little water pack, and you're supposed to fill this with clean water. So you can use bottled water, distilled water, boiled water, or uh, filtered water. So I just have filtered water in here. I'm just gonna plug it into the little contraption. Now for skin prep, I did cleanse my skin with my La Roche Posay Sensitive Skin Micellar Water. Um, all over my face and then I rinsed it off of course because I don't believe in non-rinse you're leaving surfactants on your skin girl don't do that I rinsed it off every single time and then I did actually scrub my face as well with my Aveeno active naturals positively radiant skin brightening daily scrub which you guys have heard me talk loads about so I went ahead and did that as well so now that that is done let's turn this baby on there we go and can I do it with one hand Oh my god, I can't do it with one hand. Okay, let's turn this on. See how long it takes to get some steam here. So it takes just under like 30 seconds for it to fully steam up. Um, and it feels really nice. I think it's a different type of steam just because when your head is under a towel and you're steaming your face, all of the air is not going anywhere. In this case, the air is evaporating into the air as well, so you're not getting so much of a, a, a heavy steam. It's more of a gentle steam to your skin. And with that also, I feel like I the need to rotate my skin into this, um, wherever it's coming out from, just because I want it to get every inch of my face. It is coming out pretty powerful. Now, I do think that you need to put your face a little bit closer to the steam to actually get it to touch your skin or get it to feel warm. And the container doesn't feel hot at all. You're not feeling like a hot body, so that's good. So if you touch it, you're not gonna burn yourself as if you were with a bowl. So this steam is supposed to last for about eight to 10 minutes, and then um, we'll put on our mask after that. One thing that I do find is that it does give off like a plastic smell. It's not unscented, it's like a manufacturer smell. So I let it run for about a minute just so that scent can go away before I actually put it on my face. Um, the scent hasn't really gone away, I still smell it here. Um, I know that there are comments saying that you're not supposed to use essential oils with it and I wouldn't think that you should just because you don't want the oils sitting inside of the machine. Um, there are people who have used them, but I'm not going to try <laughs> because I don't want to mess it up. The smell is not something that would really turn you off from the product, but it's something that is there. I don't think that the this, this steam is very continuous. It kind of comes strong and then it stops for a little bit. Not stops, but like it gets a little bit weaker and then it comes back strong. So it's not exactly a continuous spray. Um, okay. See? Do you see that? Like it just, I don't know if you guys notice, but it kind of just stopped for a second and then came back. And I feel like I really have to move my face. It's like a neck workout here to really get the steam to cover everywhere. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. When you're near to the end is when you're really going to smell that plastic smell because the water is almost done. I don't advise breathing that in. 
Um, so I'm just going to turn that to the side as it does what it needs to do and finishes up the bottom of the water. But this thing has last, when did I turn it on? I turned this thing on at 155. It is now 211. So it's actually lasted more than 10 minutes. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I can say that my skin does feel really soft. It really helped to, I think, open up the pores really well. Um, so now that my pores are open and my skin is soft, I'm going to put on my Claudelie Paris Instant Detox Mask to clean my pores here. Now that they're open, let's go ahead and add a little bit to our hand and rub this all over the face. There we go, we got that applied and we're gonna let that sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so while that's sitting on our face, let's talk about this product. I think the user interface is pretty well, it's just on and off, you just have the little water in the back. The actual container doesn't get too, too hot, so you can, and it also has the handle, so you can also hold it and move it if you need to, um, without getting any burns on your skin. So out of five, what would I give it? I think, I would say about a 3.5 just because it is decent price it is it has a great user interface it's easy to store easy to hold but it does have a little bit of its quirks like the inconsistency with the, the spring a little bit of the chemical or um, plastic scent and that you can't add essential oil right to it so about a 3.5 I think it's good for the money if you guys are looking for a facial steam I would definitely try this one out if you guys want one here so I think this is a good medium range if you want to just like not have your head over a basin with a towel and you want to be a little bit more bougie definitely go ahead and pick this up i think it's a great product and i'll definitely be using it in the future now that this mask has been sitting on my face for about 10 minutes i'm going to show you guys exactly how i take care of my skin after a mask so let's get started i'm gonna get my facial mist my toner water which you guys have heard me talk about for so long i think I've remade it to kind of look like an essence more than a toner, but it does the same thing as well. So put, put a few sprays onto the cotton pad and just wipe that all over my face. I wish I was more gentle, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Next, I'm going to take my hyaluronic acid 2% and B5, and I'm going to put a drop of this all over my face just to get more hydration deep down. Next, I'm going to moisturize my face using my vitamin E serum, and a DIY for this is coming up very soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm just gonna use a drop of this onto my skin, and then just pat it on the face. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put on a ceramide priming face serum, and this is gonna lock all of the hydration and moisture that I just put on into the skin because ceramides strengthen the skin's barrier. So we're gonna put three drops of this over the skin. And this is my last step because it seals everything in. Once you're done hydrating and moisturizing, you wanna seal everything. Because what's the point of hydrating your skin if everything's gonna leave, right? Now, of course, because we did a lot to our skin, we did a lot of stripping, a lot of exfoliating, we do want to protect our skin from the sun. So I'm using my Murad Age Reform Invisibler Protecting Shield Broad Spectrum 30 SPF P PA++++. It's a long, long name. Anyways, but I'm putting this, about a pump or two of this all over my face. And as they do in a spa, I'm also going to take a little bit of my own tinted moisturizer and put that all over my face as well, just to give a little bit of glow to the skin. You just blend that in with your fingers. Sorry. And there you have it. Now my skin is complete. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did so I know. Comment down below and tell me if you've tried a facial steamer and how you like it. I would love to know what others are out there. If you haven't already subscribed, click that big red button to join the Adams family and see more videos like this. It's zero calories and it's absolutely free. And girl, what you staring at? Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. Stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you later ladies and gents in my next video. Bye!